boy, Chef Moore has outdone himself. From the Knoxville Convention Center, we welcome him. Hey. Hello. Hey, good to see you. Okay, I have to say, this is like the most beautiful party display. If I walked into a party and this was the food situation, I don't think I would leave the food table, <laughs> which might be a bad thing. <laughs> well, good. Thank you. Yeah, this is some of the holiday offerings we've got at the Convention Center. Uh -huh. um, uh, we do a lot of these uh, throughout the year, but then this time of year we really focus on a few things. We we break out some action stations that are a little, probably a little bit more elegant, I think. And one of them is this uh, sort of fried brie and fried Gruyere this morning. I've got some Gruyere going. And if you see, it's just nice golden brown. And we, what we'll do is we'll have a station where we where we fry these, and then people would come by, and we have some different toppings available. What are, house the made, what are they? Sure, it's a house-made raspberry jam. This is a pineapple chutney. And then this right here is, is also a strawberry uh, a jam and so we offer these things with the uh, fried cheese and when you come by you can have a little bit of the crostini a little bit of that nice. you know do a little bit of the jam and so um, that is a fun station yeah, it is kind of fun it's so that the cheese is a little tricky to deal with so we try to put uh, somebody who has uh, had a little bit of experience out there because it does tend to want to melt fast but once you get it just where you want it it uh, comes out real nicely and uh, that's one of the stations. And then we have a charcuterie station. We feature I love charcuterie. I can never say that. Yeah. But yeah. you make it sound so nice and sophisticated. But this it's is my beautiful. big word for the month. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but uh, it's basically just uh, meats. It's really the, the kind of the study and dealing with uh, f prepared meats. So things like bacon and sausages and things. We, uh, we, we use a couple of companies in town uh, mm -hmm. to prepare some of it. We do some of it ourselves. Some of these items are from the local butcher shop out in Maryville. They do a wonderful job. He's got some great bologna there. We've made some sausage here that we did ourselves. So it's more of a pepperoni style. And then we also have uh, some bratwurst. And then we pickle some vegetables, green tomatoes, okra. And then we have uh, the recipes on the uh, website right now for those beets. That's a roasted beet that's then been pickled. And, and that's uh, that whole board, what we do is that can be made for 20 people, 500 people. And then it's more of an interactive type station where folks can come through and, and try different local products. And that's been successful lately. That's a great idea. You're giving yeah. people great inspiration. So let's try some cheese. Shall yeah, you ready? We? So basically, uh, with this, 350 degrees is really what you're looking for. Um, it, it, the tough part is just kind of maintaining that temperature. You could uh, use like a fry daddy or something and do this, but I like to manage it a little tighter in a, in a pan where I can just put half the cheese into the oil. What kind of oil did you use? This is just a, a blended oil. It's canola and olive oil that's blended um, about half and half. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of like that for, for light frying. Um, if we were doing a lot of heavy frying, we'd probably use just straight canola or mm -hmm. some of the other blended oils. But for this, on the station, we put a little bit of the, of the blended oil in there, put the cheese in, let it fry for a few minutes, and then right as the edges start to get golden brown, we'll turn it once and then continue to cook it till it gets to about this consistency and color. And then that will then be the finished product right there. That is so beautiful. Well, thank okay. you. Okay, you used brie and gruyere. So how did you get those perfect little squares with the breadcrumbs on top? Well, breadcrumbs, right? Sure. We okay. just we cut them, and then what we'll do is we'll bread them with a little bit of flour, egg wash, and then take a little bit of panko breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. which is those Japanese style. They're a little bigger, but we take them and we we put them through a buffalo chopper or a food processor and make them a little smaller so they adhere a little better to the. To the cheese. So if you're doing this at home, you pretty much need to lay out the cheese pretty flat and chop it yourself into little rectangles or something. I would think so. And you can go with any size you like. I mean, of course, we're all familiar with the, with the mozzarella stick, yeah. you know, so that's certainly a way you could cut the cheeses. But there are also, um, for us, we kind of like this sort of little, little size here because of serving this at a party it's a little bit easier to manage it's so beautiful this spread is amazing you guys are still booking holiday parties right now at the convention center and there are so many great options thank you we are and uh, yeah it, we're we have space available through uh, the the mid part of December and um, there are uh, quite a few parties that are, are finalizing their menus now. Uh, and so, yeah, we encourage you to take a look. We do a lot of custom work for the holidays. If, if people can think of it, we generally can make it happen for them.
Good stuff. Chef Moore, this is beautiful. What do we call this again? Sure, this is a charcuterie. It's a local charcuterie. local oh, yeah. charcuterie, pickled vegetables. Yeah. And I've that's got one the... of those in my house right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I set one up last night. Just, yeah. You know. Uh, very mid <laughs> midnight snack. Yeah, yeah. you know. I, I got up early. It. Midnight snack. Are you kidding me? That's when I get up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> midnight snack. That's breakfast. That's an early morning snack for us. <laughs> this looks fantastic. Well, Chef good. Moore, Thank I you. mean, what a beautiful spread. We appreciate you coming on today. And if you want more information on the convention center, you can find them online? Yes, absolutely. And you can give us a call. And... Uh, um, we have a, a sales team that would just love to work with you, and uh, we can, again, we can custom your party to whatever your needs are. Good so stuff. We do a lot of that. And we're going to post the pickling uh, recipe for doing the beets yes. on our website, WBIR. And Rump's excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he heard about beets. the fried cheese. I think he heard about the fried cheese, too, no doubt about I that. I told him it was stuffed with bacon. He got excited. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, and we do have to say, you got a lot of this at the butcher shop in Maribel. They come on our show, too. So yeah, really absolutely. And, uh, you know, we like uh, Tracy Monday at, at uh, Mother, Earth's, Mother Earth, excuse me, they do a great job, too. So we yeah. try to spread it around um, a couple of different companies. And Alan Benton, of course, does a great prosciutto uh, that we use. We know that well. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All Thank right. you, guys. We are going to eat.